Hi everyone, it's Randy at Speckled Seahorse, and I'm coming back to you today, um, unbeknownst to you, again, yesterday I tried to upload a video and it totally disappeared, and so I've been searching for it, hoping that I could recover it from my phone or from YouTube or something, and I don't know what happened, but it, it's just gone. So, um, I completely crafted on that whole video and did some projects um, as reflected by what's sitting here in front of me. And so I still have some work to do on them, but I, um, you know, in another little project that I'll do. But after that video went awry, I was kind of a little bit frustrated. And so I took a, a little bit of break and I didn't want to redo it right away. So here I am today, the next day, and um, trying to finish this these um, Mandela CDs up. And then I have a new project to show you and um, a couple of other little things. So this is one of the Mandela CDs that I worked on yesterday on the video. And it's complete in total. I embellished the outside of the CD envelope and did the Mandela CD. I'll take that out. I know that's a silly name for them, but I mean, I don't know what else to call them. So, um, this is some more scrapbook paper with some fabric glued to it. I haven't done any sewing on this one. This piece here is, um, a really old piece that I found at Reconsidered Goods here in Greensboro, and um, I cut a piece of it off every now and then and use it. It's just so cool to look at even, but um, it's really old. It's falling apart, which is why I don't feel bad for cutting it up, um, but it's super pretty. And then I've just put some bling on there. This is from Sheila's, I think this was one of her Christmas packages. Um, this pretty piece had some red in it, and then I popped some feathers in there. And on the CD case, I just put some red and black and a feather and a button on here. And then um, I've got some lace and a little bit of that same. Actually, it might be a little bit of a, a different piece than that blingy piece. But it's still Sheila's uh, Indian Textiles and a feather to kind of go together. And I thought that looked super pretty through the CD sleeve there. So I really love that one. And this is a new one. I haven't embellished the CD case yet. The video ran long yesterday, and that might be why I lost it, because it it was in excess of an hour, probably almost 70 minutes. I, I don't know what happened to the thing. It's just gone. Um, but so this is the same again, some Tim Holtz scrapbook paper. I put some silk, purple silk fabric on there, and then I have added a doily on here and that is my template for these uh, mandalas and um, I just keep using it over and over again on different pieces of fabric onto the scrapbook paper and then I'm just offsetting the scallops so you can see both layers now this I've put some of Sheila's silk from her fat quarter um, bundles and then layered up a um, I don't think I have Oh yeah, maybe I do. Hold on. I'm just going to show you what those look like. Here they are. Um, that one has purple in it, but this is more black and gold. But these pieces come from Medieval Mirage, and it's an add-on kit to one of her Bohemian kits. And I, um, I use a lot of these when I'm trying to do some boho projects. They don't always turn out, which is why you haven't seen them. But... Um, I love her things. Her digital kits are gorgeous. I will link her below. Um, she does really wonderful work. And I mean, it's just eye candy when you go in there. You don't know what to buy first. It's, um, you want it all. <laughs> she does have some discount codes in there too, which is good. Because you will end up buying more than one kit. And they're very hefty kits. There's a lot of pieces to them. So, um that those are always nice but this one you can see it has more purple in it so i've got two layers of that silk material here and i tried to tear that 
and it doesn't tear very well and so I've just left it very um, very rough on the edges and then I put a blingy piece from one of Sheila's um, kits as well it's really pretty it has some gold and uh, sequins in it and obviously the back of it is gold and then it's got some purple seed beads on it but I just thought that looked really pretty and we will embellish this case and we'll embellish this case I've left that one I don't think this is going to go in a boho journal I think I might save that for Christmas but we can still embellish it and here's the other one that I made we'll embellish that sleeve and then here's the other new one that I made and it is again Tim Holtz scrapbook paper with some black linen fabric a doily some more black linen fabric and I used the large medallion here that I just showed you to as my template to cut that out and then I use a smaller one of these for the back here and then I just put some lace and uh, some bling from Sheila's package and I actually cut this off um, because I couldn't find anything that I liked exactly I, I thought I was going to put some black, sorry, silk maybe across there, but it didn't look good. So this one is really cool and different. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this, this one first here and get that one done and put to the side with my um, Christmas projects. That I have and then I've already you know in order to save you the torture pulled my pieces that I wanted to put on there it takes me forever so I know you don't want to sit through all of that I mean I, I'm I agonize so trust me it's just better this way I do want to say also I really really appreciate everybody who um, has come to my channel after Tina from uh, Shabby Dabby Doo Da um, mentioned me in her video, and um, she was doing a different version of the scrappy boho stamps that I had done, and hers turned out so cute. I love those. And um, Tina, if you're listening, I really like your boho one, the one with your blue bling on it. I thought it, that was really cute. So I'm glad that you did that. Uh, but, but really guys, I mean, thank you so much for supporting me as a little tiny newbie, uh, leaving comments and subscribing it. You, you just don't understand how big that is. My friend Annette, um, she messaged me gosh, whatever morning that was, I, I, the week has flown by so fast, I don't know what day it was, like first thing in the morning, and she's like, hey, you have a shout out from Tina and Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, and um, she <laughs> linked your, your video, and guys, it was like, we felt like giddy schoolgirls. <laughs> it was hilarious, and so she was watching my channel throughout the day and telling me, Oh, and you've got such and such, you're at such and such, you're at such and such. And so, um, it's been a lot of fun and it was really exciting. <laughs> so really from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Tina. And thank you, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. And, you know, I'm just a teeny tiny, um, YouTube newbie. So it, it just really makes you feel good when, when people do that, you know, YouTube can be, your best friend or it can be your worst enemy and at times sometimes it's both and um so i'm just really appreciative of all the love you guys showed me so this next one is going to be the purple and i pulled some bits here i coffeed out a little bit of um antique fabric today and it has some dots in it and they're they're like sewn on there I don't know I don't know how to explain it it's really cool though and I really wanted to soften up the bling and put some older fabrics and some older laces and so I thought this would be gorgeous on there 
and just kind of take it down a notch, you know, to make it boho. And some more of that silk fabric. Sheila's probably looking at this going, what did you do to my fabric? <laughs> I hope you're not, Sheila. <laughs> um, because, you know, silk is beautiful. It's, it's fine. It's expensive. It's on my paper now. <laughs> and it's all scruffy, so... I hope that's okay, Sheila. <laughs> uh, let's see. I was going to put this feather on there. I think that will turn out really good. I found these this roll of feathers somewhere. I think I got it in an estate sale. And I have had so much fun with them. It um, comes as like a big roll. And it's got a lot of feathers in it. And I just kind of take them apart. Because that's kind of what I do to everything. I kind of dissect everything. I love little bits, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> I do a lot of a lot of little bits. I just they're just so useful to me. And I have a hard time using something really big. And then of course when you're junk journaling, you're not really doing anything that big. So I usually end up cutting things down. I think that looks really pretty. That has a bit of red in it. That's from Sheila's Bundle 2. Let's see what that looks like in here. So that's a little, that uh, piece of bling is like a little almost oblong. It drives me nuts. Isn't that pretty? I love purple. It is just so pretty. So that one's done. We'll do this one. I've locked my dog out of the room. I think she's trying to get in. <laughs> okay, so here is the black one. And I had a really hard time trying to figure out what to do with this one. I don't know why. This one has stumped me the whole time. I really had a hard time getting it together, but I really liked it when it came together. And so I decided I was going to go off to the side here with this black linen fabric. Don't discount your fabric, even if it's plain. Um, you need some of that to offset some of your patterns sometimes. This is just necessary. And I don't really know anything about composition and design, but um, I just know what my eye likes, and I know that's what my eye likes. Okay, I'm going to put this upside down. That's some of that really um, gorgeous antique lace here. I cut it and made it circular to go around, but um, it is really pretty. I had to, yesterday, so yesterday during my video that I lost, I'm not bitter at all. Um, <laughs> this was kind of wrinkly because it had been in my basket. And so I was showing you how you can take a travel iron not an iron, but um, a little travel flat iron. And on your small pieces, you don't have to get your iron out. You can just take your flat iron and run it across there. And it'll flatten out your fabric that's small. And so um, I did that on that, and it worked out really well. And I actually did it on several things. Um, but they're already ironed now. So I just want to give you that little ha hack. Um, I don't know if you've ever thought of that. But I I can't stand getting out my big iron. And having to crawl under my desk and plug it up. And it, you know. Then you only use it for a minute. And then my cat walks by. And she freaks me out. Because I think she's going to get burnt. And so, you know, immediately I have to take it back down. I can't let it sit there. And then you have to let it cool off. It's just kind of um, a pain. My husband just decided to cut the grass. And I told him I was videoing. What are the odds? I <laughs> hope you can't hear that. Because it's annoying me. 
hopefully he'll get to the other side of the house. In order to put this one into the sleeve, um, you have to turn it upside down. Because I did not glue this down, I might end up doing that. I don't know. I just kind of loved it like it was. And then you can see everything underneath. So, I just kind of slide it in and then spin it around like that. The sun is really bad right now. I have my shades drawn. So hopefully the glare and the sun and all that isn't too bad right now. So this one is more, um, it's not country. It, it's just not as decorative. It's not as embellished. It's more of a laid back piece but it does have some red on it and so I did pick a little bit of red fabric to go with it even though you can kind of only see it peeking out here um, so I'm going to do this at the bottom I glued uh, I glued I coffee dyed some cheesecloth today I know there are different kinds of different grades of cheesecloth you can buy mine is kind of really stringy Sometimes I see people see that and it's really strong and it doesn't do that. So I don't know what grade I've got here, but um, it's real raggedy. I don't know what else to call it. It's just, um, it won't stay together good. The weave is not real tight, I guess is what, what it is. I like how this kind of curves around here. And I've left the kind of grungy side out right here. It's got some th seam and some thread. I'm trying to be like my friend Annette. <laughs> she, she is like the queen of grungy journals and things like that uh, distressed things her stuff is so pretty I think I may have talked her into getting a YouTube channel and I don't I don't know if she's already opened her Etsy or not she's gonna be boho provision Co um, it's just like it sounds. I don't think it's Anco. I think it's Co for company. Anywho, so you guys look for her soon, hopefully. She has some beautiful journals that she makes. Actually, everything she makes is gorgeous. She's taught me to do lots of things, and uh, it she just blew me away with all of her. Um, artistic abilities. She's very talented. She's been doing this for years and I'm just a total newbie. Okay, so this, I really wanted to stick this on there, but it looks dumb with that green on there. I don't know what to do. Just really want that on there. I can't decide so I'm going to leave it off. Whoever gets the journal, you'll be surprised when you get it. <laughs> okay. So, those are those four. Blue, black, purple, and red. Stick that in there. Put these away. Oops, I have to turn that one upside down too. I'll do that later. Because I can't stand crinkly paper. Okay. Alright, so these are what I worked on on my video that I lost. So you missed all of this. These are coin envelopes. And um, I found some of these at an estate sale and I got the whole box of of them and I have just distressed these up with some distress ink 
and uh, just kind of went to town on them with those medallions from Medieval Mirage and those little um, why can't I think of the name of these little things this, they're not beads they're whatever they are um, <laughs> that I have in my stash my little craft gems that's what they are golly I don't know why my brain does that so I've, I made two red I use, I've been using the same fabrics throughout this whole uh, series and so this is the red fabric that I have this is some red silk this is some of Sheila's fabric here some more of the red fab fabric some of the black linen and some silk that was my silk and the same thing here black linen black linen um, medieval mirage some antique lace and a little blingy um, boho coin that I took off of that boho belt this is the first one I made I may have shown this to you guys I can't remember now but um, this is the first one that I started out with and I put lace behind there so those go together and I have a blue and a purple one that we can work on today so you can see how I did it it's again not brain surgery you just layer this stuff up in two reds and then when we're done we'll have two purples and two blues so put these oh I have this gold one too this is uh, some of Sheila's fabric and it is so pretty it was white or off-white with these gold threads running through them and it's hard to see on here but it just gives it a little bit of shimmer I just thought it was so pretty very elegant very very elegant okay so this one I've already picked out the fabric for and I'm just going to glue that on you see how I just distressed around the very edges because obviously we're gonna cover that up so it doesn't matter I did the back and everything I'm not real picky on where I'm putting my glue for these uh, because after I layer them up they're gonna each are gonna stick a little bit more anyway I just want to make sure and kind of line them up in the coin envelope so I'm not wonky jawed and running off the side when I put my paper medallions on here now this one's got some blue in it but it's not going to matter because the top layer is going to cover that up but I just really love the layered look And this is a darker purple from Sheila's Fabrics. I'll link Sheila again um, below too because I'll be using her fabrics throughout this whole series. Um, I'm using some new fabrics that I got from the fabric store and um, I always incorporate her fabrics. It doesn't matter what project I'm doing. Even if I'm just clipping a little bling off of there, I just find that I don't know I, I just need to use them for a little while I hoarded them because they were so pretty and it was just so hard to use them but um, I really wanted to see them in my projects and once I started using the bling I was like okay it's on I am totally gonna gonna use this stuff I mean what's the point of it sitting there forever now I have one green um, craft gem and I wonder should I put that or a purple one where did they go I think they're in here not that you can see this sorry so do I put purple I think I want to put the purple on there even though I've got purple on there and that does have green in it I think I'm going to save that for something else. 
make sure this one's okay. Yep. <clears throat> One of my, um, I met my friend Annette through Facebook, our Facebook group that we're in. Uh, it's Sheila's group, Boho Daydreams. And she had reached out and asked if anybody lived near her and wanted to get together and craft. And I was like, I'm not very far from you. And so we decided to meet up one day. And Annette, in all her infinite wisdom, decided to take me the girl who freezes to death in the summertime and has her space heater on at work. Um, don't tell anybody. Um, that we were going to go to Reconsidered Goods here in town. And she didn't tell me that it didn't have any heat or any air. And was it January? When was that? Oh my gosh. I don't know what month it was, but it was freezing. I was... <laughs> <laughs> so cold we walked into that place <laughs> and uh Annette likes it cold and I couldn't be more opposite and so Annette's just crafting away la 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 as they have a craft table where you can craft and um I'm over there with my parka on and thank goodness I wore a big coat um because you know like when you sit somewhere and you get colder the more that you sit there <laughs> that's what was happening to me I, I troopered through it though and made it and uh I'll never forget that net and I'll never forgive you either <laughs> but I've been back there and uh it's just as bad in the summertime there's no air in there either but it's really a cool place. And the reason we went there is because they have somewhere you can craft. They have a room and you can craft in there. Um, and it's really cool. They have all kinds of vintage stuff. Um, I, I can't even explain to you how cool that place is. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to use... I think I want to use some of this dark silk material. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, I've already cut one piece of it, but that's a small piece, so I think I'm... Which way am I going? Oh, this has already got some grungy sides to it, so maybe over here. I've got a little bit of a... Um, a pull in that. So I'm just kind of going to lay it down and eyeball how big I think I need it to be. Get out my Hercules scissors. Let's see how wide this is so I make sure. I really don't need that. I really need this. Okay. So I'm going to try and tear this. We'll see what happens. It doesn't tear very well. Oh, that did better than I thought it was. Okay. And then. See what this does. Tear it up there. That's where I have the problem when it gets on the short end. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I like that. That's so pretty. Which is the right side? This side. That side. Does it have a side? I don't know if it even has a side. Okay. We're just going for it. This glue off my fingers. Oops, I didn't make it off. So 
made that pretty big, but it's okay. I'm sure you would rather see this fabric than that coin envelope anyway. You could do all kinds of things. I, uh, I haven't tried decoupaging the fabric yet. I've done napkins, but I haven't done fabric. I've done fabric a long time ago, um, but I haven't done it. And anything else, junk journal-wise. But I bet that would be really pretty decoupaged on something. You could use these medallion type things for a lot of things. Um, you know, you could use them as like a book plate. Write some of this, belo this book belongs to yada yada in there. Really pretty and so well done. <clears throat> when I first bought something from Jarf, I didn't know that there was a coupon code. And so she uh, let me know that there was another one. And of course I had to go in and buy some more stuff because, <laughs> you know, her stuff's awesome. And um, I used that, but um, we were just kind of chit-chatting about how beautiful the um, Renaissance period and all those medieval ladies are gorgeous. And I asked her if she had any plans to do like a Cinderella kit. And she said that I mentioned the Cinderella that I like. And um, she said that that one's not out of copyright yet. So she can't do anything with it. Um, but I don't know when I didn't even think to check and see when that would be. But um I don't think it's going to be for a while. It might have been the 60s or the 70s. What am I going to use on here? Ooh, how about this dark? That would be pretty, wouldn't it? Very pretty. I don't know that I don't know that it would do the um do the pattern justice though. I might not use that. Don't want to use the. Do I want to use the white? What would that look like? I think I've already got the dark. I think I'm gonna go with um. I'm gonna go with this or. Can't use that. That's got too much bling on it behind oh I haven't used this yet let's see I think I want to use that for maybe a pocket I don't want to use that in there okay so that might narrow it down to that piece yep I think that's it is that backwards yes that's a really pretty piece Far up. Oh, I don't know what this is going to do. If it's going to tear it all. Yeah, it is. Woohoo! Yeah, I might have to help it a little. What is that? Oh yeah. When you use up your fabric like this, um, you know, I always have some bits left over. And so when we're done doing this, I'm going to show you what I do with my bits. <clears throat> Obviously keep a lot of bits to use. But then when I, my bits get too much, uh, you know, you kind of have to do something with them. All right. Not really worried about 
um, the Fabri-Tac showing through on this because I'm going to cover it up with this and cover up all that beautiful print. I think I'm going to have to get that off of there. That's going to make me crazy. Yeah. And then put this on. <clears throat> getting hungry. I think it's getting late. I was supposed to do so much today. I have not. I have tried to film my video and I got nothing done. My house is a wreck. I did do dishes. I did dishes. And I tried to straighten up my craft room a bit. Um... I just need to get some better organization in here. I thought I, I had it pretty well organized and then kind of went and bought some more stuff. Um, <laughs> so that kind of blew that out of the water. All right. What jewel did I use on this other blue one? Okay. I used the gold. Yeah. I think I will use that one on this. feel like I need something here. I'm not sure what. I'm trying to think. Maybe I could get a flower out of there. And put it there. Would that be crazy? That might be good. I mean, I'm just crazy enough to try it. Let's let's go for it. If it doesn't look good, I can use it for something else. These bits are so kind of all woven together. I think I'm going to have to cut that off. Or else that thing's going to be really big. Okay. I think I'm going to go in and get that out of there. Looks a little funny. Oh, one more. Oh, where'd it go? Really can't see past these monster scissors. <laughs> oh my gosh. They should have had somebody holding them in the Amazon picture that I bought them from. Because <laughs> they're giant. I like it. Yes, that's very boho. Makes that gem pop. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Make sure that gets on there. <clears throat> All right. So there's the two blue. Love that. That's a little sorry silk snippet on there. I wish oh, okay. this was that color, but that's okay. That's what makes it boho. All these different colors. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to put these to the side. And I'm going to show you what I did with my snippets. Not that this is anything new. Um, I just kind of get a stash of them. And I wanted to try this. Definitely not the first person in the world to do it. But I had all these snippets. These little tiny pieces. And so I tore off a piece of that silk. A long piece. 
And then I just started attaching these. I sewed them on with red thread, if you can see there. And just kind of went down that piece of silk until I ran out. And so all these pieces are the things that I've been working with. And after a while, you know, some of the pieces, they get too small. Um, and I don't really want to throw them away. So I definitely like the snippet roll idea. That's what this is for anybody who doesn't know. Um, it's a snippet roll. And then you just roll it up. And you use it, you cut little pieces off of it when you're working in your journal if you need some embellishments somewhere. So that will wait over there for me whenever I need it. And I did this one as well. It's got some bigger pieces on it. It's bigger and fluffier. And it's not as sparkly. But it does have a lot of the same um, colors, the same material. There's a big fluffy piece there with a the flower. Some chenille fabric that Annette gave me, actually. <clears throat> and I got really tired that night. And I just couldn't make it to the end. Isn't that terrible? I mean, I was so tired. So I'm going to have to do that. But so while I'm crafting, I kind of throw all my bits into a bowl. And then... When I need a little bit, I use it out of that bowl. And then at the end of my project, if I don't feel like, you know, I have enough for another project, I will do these snippet rolls. And they're really fun. And there's no rhyme or reason to how you put it on there. You can do it however you want. You kind of see all that fiddly stitching there. It's not um, complicated. You just kind of do whatever because it doesn't matter. And you can actually, like, I could go mm -hmm. in and I could bling these mm -hmm. up if I wanted to. Um, you know, put some jewels in there, put some buttons in there, and I still might do that. Um, really, really fun project. I did some ruffles. These are a little fluffy. Um, sometimes they're a little fluff, too fluffy for a journal, so I'm, I don't know if this is going to work for this. I'm going to try it. Let's see if I can get that to flatten out a little bit. So it'll be, oh yes, that works. Lovely. Look at that. Look how nice and flat that is compared to that. I love the fluffy, but when you put it in a journal, it just makes your book get crazy wide alligator mouth. So I do like to flatten them out. That way your whole book's not just about a big fat ruffle. Yes, I like that. Okay, that one didn't do right. I got this little travel iron on Amazon. It's just a little Infinity Pro Conair. It's just got an on and off button. You know, nothing fancy at all. I don't know if this is going to work. This is some lace that I did a ruffle for. Oh, yeah, it even flattens out the lace. Alrighty. I love it. Let's see. Get it up in there. I still can't believe I lost my video. But I shan't dwell on it forever, I suppose. I even tried to load some, download some software to recover it. Like, I don't know. It was so blooming weird. I don't know what happened anyway. The, everything I tried, you had to pay for it. And I was like, eh, nope. Probably not for a one-time deal. 
I don't think I'm gonna bite the bullet, so I didn't. And here I am. I hope you guys are having a fun weekend. And uh, getting a lot of stuff done that you need to get done or going on vacation. This is a, a ruffle with the lace and the purple silk. I'm just going to flatten that. I thought that turned out gorgeous. I like to offset those um, so you can see both pieces of fabric. You know, I know you can see it under the lace, but... Um, I'm just weird like that. When we went on our cruise, um, you know, you can't take an, you cannot take an iron on a cruise. And so we sometimes iron our clothes with um, a flat iron. <laughs> if you need to, iron the hem of your dress or your shorts your shirt whatever I'm, I mean it's a lifesaver I use a flat iron as an iron all the time <laughs> okay all right so that is all my ruffles and my snippet rolls I want to sit those back over there and ta -da! I just love how those turned out love purple I've got to obviously do some more colors because I don't know if you noticed but maybe I will lay these out here and you will understand mm -hmm. there's the red there you go You getting the idea? And then Ta da! So, this is not going to be just one journal. This is going to be a series of journals. And it's going to be my first ever series. And I'm trying to get really efficient in this process and I don't want all my journals to look the same which is why I'm doing you know obviously different colors but similar styles um, but everything is different like every little thing is different no two things are the same and so my friends there you have them this one is um this one is kind of a rogue one-off. I don't know what I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to... This might be mine. I might make myself a journal. What a concept. <laughs> make myself a journal. Um, anyway, that's all I have for today, guys. I hope that you have a really fantastic weekend. And again, I can't thank you all enough um, please like and subscribe if you're following this uh, and you want to see how it turns out. Could be disastrous. I really don't know. <laughs> we, we'll just see as we go along. Um, I don't have, only have one of the covers together so far. I have the material for the red and I think that I have the black picked out. Not 100% decided on that and I have to figure out what I'm going to do for the purple. So, um, thank you so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great weekend. Be kind to one another. Uh, remember, kindness really doesn't cost you a thing, but it's priceless on the other end. Thank you. Bye.